Hello? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Girl, my name is Dynasty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so Wait, nervous. Wait, why are you laughing so hard? Girl, I'm so nervous and I look a mess. Well, I appreciate you being in the bathroom because the bathroom has the best light. Yes, it does. What's so, the name, love? Dynasty. Oh, yeah, duh. I just said Dynasty like 20,000 times. <laughs> Dynasty, how old are you, baby? I am 31. 31? What you do for a living? Well, I work uh, customer service. Okay. Customer service. Do you have any kids? Three kids. Three kids. Um, how old are your kids, Dynasty? 13, 6, and 11 months. 13, 6, and 11 months. All by the same man? No, ma'am. How many men? Three different men. Why are you not with the man you had um the baby with eleven months with? Um, I moved. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Have you ever been married, Dynasty? No, ma'am. No. And what city you live in? I live in Louisiana. Louisiana. So we got Dynasty, Louisiana, thirty-one, works in customer service. Mom's to three. By three men. That's so um, um, never married. What kind of men are you looking for, honey? Okay, so I was just actually just looking for someone to be themselves. Like, just be yourself. Don't try to be nobody else. Don't try to impress me in no type of way. Just be yourself. Just looking for somebody to come and be themselves. Okay, okay. What are your deal breakers? Deal breakers, dreads. I don't want no more dreads, boo. No dreads. No dreads. Okay, no dreads. Black, black men are okay, of course, but just no dreads. I'm tired of the dreads. Okay. Mm -hmm. No dreads. Okay. Out. Anything else besides dreads? Uh, okay. Um, <sighs> alcoholic people who are heavily addicted to drugs and stuff like that because I have just recently overcome alcoholism myself. Okay. I haven't had any alcohol for a year now. <laughs> Congratulations to you, honey. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So um, it's not that you don't have to, don't not drink, you know, you, you can enjoy yourself. Okay. You can yourself, but uh, yeah, you know, when people overindulge, I don't like someone to just be overindulging in things. You don't want nobody to overindulge in things. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, well, congratulations again. So you stopped drinking a year ago? Yes. Wasn't you pregnant a year ago? Yes. Yes, I was. And it was a struggle for me. So I had to like kind of Talk to my doctor about it. Um, and I went through a program and completed my program. And here I am today. Here you are today. Well, we are proud of you. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the guys look a certain way. Um, I mean, I like um I like cocky guys, like muscular type guys. Um as long as he look really nice, like he gotta be nice looking. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I've been with fat. Fat is okay. I, no offense, y'all. You know, fat people need love too. Um, but I've been with bigger guys too. So it's kinda like, as long as y'all look good, y'all take good care of yourselves. And because like for me, I'm like, as long as I'm decent, I'll be good. I'll be good to go. So something like that. Okay. So, um, should he make a certain amount of money? No, nah, about the money part, because I know I've been here, you always ask that Kendra, but girl, I just be trying not to be too picky. Okay. Um, you know, just have a job, of course. Working, a working man, making at least, because I feel like even minimum, minimum wage people, they're not bringing in, they're not even bringing in $20,000 a year. Like, to be honest, it's like, it's scarce out there. Okay. So no, so no money requirement. Um, I guess not. Okay. I guess okay. Not. We got a congratulations going out to you. James said, congratulations on being sober. 
But what makes you think you qualify for a high value man? When did you ask for a high value man? Who said a high value man? Yeah, who said that, James? You know what? Some of you, here's the deal. Some of y'all be so damn miserable, child, that you be just trying to make people feel the way you feel. James, with your <laughs> shiny ass face. Girl, because look, first of all, I'm already on here looking like who done it and why. I was like, I'm going to just press it because last time I was trying to get on, girl. I wasn't ready and then I just, I kind of, I tried to act like I wasn't there, but I was really there. So this time I'm like, I'm going to follow through. But no, let me just continue this. First of all, I I believe when they say high value, they're talking about 100K or more. That wasn't even your request. You didn't no. say anything. So I don't know where James is getting his question from with his shiny big teeth ass <laughs> this is why I, and let me tell you something about some of you men now not all you men but if but if you feel it if you feel what i'm about to say that i'm talking to you now there are some men who truly want to give women insights from a male's perspective that can cause women to make changes but then we got some bitter bitch men i'm gonna call them bitch asses that are sad that they can't get no vagina and they mad at the world so the only way that they can talk to a woman is in my damn comment section and that's why they try to go so hard because this they only exchange with a woman all damn day they got to be in the comment section just mm -hmm. to talk to a woman sometimes they try to say something rude just to get a reaction so james i'm gonna give you what you want i can tell you ain't had none in a minute <laughs> so I'm going to give you what you want. We're going to give you the attention your shiny big teeth ass paid for. Okay? Now, again, I ain't say every man. I do believe some men have, they 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 give truth with love. But then we got some bitter bitch asses. You decide what group you fall in, gentlemen. Back to you, honey. Okay. I got you the Kendra cam. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Leah, I want to say. My son going to say, Ma, you was on there. I'm going to say, yeah, I was on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is me. Okay. Ooh, I like your shower curtain. <laughs> yes. I like your shower curtain. Thank you. Okay, okay. I like your shower curtain. All right. Um, That's Dynasty. Dynasty, when was your last relationship? Uh, So my last relationship was pretty much with my last baby's father and that was in june june okay june um you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone because everybody likes to lie about this so i'm not uh i want to say uh maybe i want maybe two weeks three weeks ago because we, we all need some love every now and then y'all stop hating okay okay you had sex two weeks ago yes Wait, Dynasty, why are you not with that man then? Because, oh, let's just say it was just a long time for me, Kendra, and I needed to go and get this song. He's not an option? No, he's not. He, he kind of is like a possible option, but he got a lot going on with him too, so. Okay. Not really. not so was really. it like a friends with benefits? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's friends with benefits. So nothing serious there. No, it's not really serious. He's like, nah. He's no, no, it's not really important to me. He's not important to you. No. Okay, okay. All right, Dynasty. Um, three flaws you have to work on. So what I have to work on is um I need to work on. Okay, what I need, okay, I need to work on. Smoking because I be smoking weed, Kendra. I be smoking, and I feel like that's a flaw for me being a girl because girls, you know, when we smoking, that shit ain't cute. That shit ain't cute. Long story short, so it's a flaw of mine. Um, this weed over. I don't be smoking no cigarettes, no black in my eyes, all that crazy stuff. Um, just smoking. Another flaw of mine is um, I may have like a bit of a temper, to be honest. Um, like, let's just say I probably, you know, say for for example, like if my man at work or whatever, like that, he come on me, he telling me about the girl at work, and I'm like, you know, the girl at work, 
<laughs> so, so, you know, and then I want to get a little bit more in depth into that. But it's not, it's some shit I got to work on, bro. Some notes I got to work on. But well, why are you telling yeah. you about the girl at work, though? I'm just, <laughs> exactly. See, that's what the men are so questionable nowadays, too, because they try to make it seem like everything's okay when everything is not always okay. Yeah. Fellas, do not tell your girl ever anything about the girl at work. Yes. Unless it's a white woman you cussed out and she was being a Karen. That's the mm. only story you should tell your girl. If you tell your girl about a girl at work, be prepared for your girl to be at your job the next day. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That's, and then, and another that was a, did that really happen or you were just giving an example? No, God, for real. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, They're bold nowadays. They're very bold. They have no no filters. All right. Can the guy have kids already? Yeah, he got kids. Do you want more kids? No, ma'am. I'm finished. Okay. I'm done. Um, what's the age range you would date? You're 31. So I would date um like 31, 30 to about, I ain't gonna lie, Kendra, I was last engaged to a 60-year-old man before my baby daddy, so I probably would go back up to about 55. It all depends oh, on how the man how was your baby daddy? daddy makes the, uh, again? How low was your baby daddy? Well, no, I was saying before my baby's father, I was engaged to a 59-year-old man. So I would go, I would go up, up to about 55, but it all, you know, because it all depends on how they make me feel. Like, if they make me feel like a queen or a princess or make me feel a special girl, look. Yeah, I'll take them. You'll take them? Okay. We got a paid question. You ready? Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> um, hello, Cool K say, Kendra, quick. Do you think it's wise for a man to invest his time in a woman and she just recently had sex with someone? Just asking. Well, yes. I want to say, wait, you, you want to answer what you want to say? Yes, I mean, because, but it don't make no sense to try to act like we're not going to be or have intimacy with anybody. We're all human. And, and sometimes three years may be long, but two, two weeks may be long to the next person. So <laughs> we are all human. Don't judge. Don't you don't judge nobody. So I will say this. Okay, I was I was gonna bring that up, but like I love Cool J, there'll be some guys that will take a step back because you had sex with somebody two weeks ago, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. so that's so that that is gonna be a true sentiment. Um, I think it's up for the fella to decide. You know, it's interesting because I feel like. Most men that women want, when you first meet this guy, there's some type of vagina attached to him, right? If it he's is. a like if if whether it's a baby mama, a girlfriend, an ex girlfriend, a, a ex wife, if he's really all these things you guys describe, the day you meet him, there's some type of vagina still attached. It's just how attached is she? Right. You know, is it is it over over or is it? What he was just doing. Basically, just, somebody, somebody y'all, all everybody have that someone out there. Not everybody. Now then, I was gonna say then, then, then but like are, entertaining them is what I'm saying. Right. Not but then, not being physically with the person or claiming that person. Well, I will say this again. That's why the last time you had sex question is is you don't have to answer. You chose to mm -hmm. answer, and and we appreciate it. But yes, men like L O Cool J will <laughs> immediately be turned off because they're like, if you slept with someone two weeks ago, I mean, I'm out. That is going to be some sentiment for some men. <laughs> Donnie, she said, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I don't Girl, care. All right, let's keep going. I forget the last question I asked you. What was the last question I asked you? Um, I'm not sure. Well, let me get to the last question. Oh, wait. Should the guy be in Louisiana? Uh, yeah, because I want to see the man. I mean, he don't have to be in Louisiana. Don't be, don't get me wrong. He doesn't have to be in Louisiana. But yeah, you know, I would like to go on dates with the person that whoever going to reach out, like, you know, unless they're willing to travel. Like, I want to do some little, little, little snowball dates, something like that. Something okay, simple. fair enough. And um, why, why should a man be lucky to be with you? 
<laughs> a man would be like a you would be because I am me and I am uh, I'm dynasty honesty. I'm just too honest, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Um, to the point to where it's ridiculous. Uh, I am a great mother. Um, and I just I just love to give all positive energy. So you know, if you want to be positive with me, come on and join the team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay, I'll read that out there. All right, you want to be positive or join the team? What's the age range you want to date? Okay, we did that. 31 to like 55. Oh, then you did tell me that. I, that's my that's my fault. All right, let's do it. That's my fault. Dynasty Louisiana, 31 works in customer service, mom to three by three men. Um, now what would you say to the man? Because this will be said too. If you have an 11 okay. month old, what would you okay. say to the man that's concerned that you have an 11 month old baby? Um, get to know us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get to know us, cause we know. are we are a lovable family. <laughs> very, very, very. very. A, you're a lovable family. Um. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Divine photo <laughs> says once a man gets what he wants out of her, like sex, mm -hmm. he sees no point in pursuing her. The only men that don't care. If you recently have sex, are pookies? Oh, but that's not saying that I'm open to have sex with the next person who comes along. Y'all don't, you know. I didn't give off any background details about how long I've known that person or whatever. You know, that doesn't seem that. That's not saying that I'm open to just have sex with whoever. Basically. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. The time has come. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Girl, I did, and then I had deleted it, uh, Kendra. I did, because at the time I had got it, girl, I was still in a relationship with my baby daddy. So, girl, <laughs> so I deleted I it. I just dropped the app. You told me your last relationship was a year ago. Again? When was your last relationship? June. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So when you joined the app initially, you were still with your baby daddy? Yes. Well, let me ask you this. What, can you and your baby daddy work it out or no? No. No. Okay, so that's over for sure. That's over. Okay. Well, you got to rejoin the app, girl, because that's the way the guy's going to reach out to you. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I, I'm going I'm to rejoin. I'm going to rejoin. Oh, your thing says Dynasty Wife Soon. I just saw it said Wife Soon. Yes. Is that your name? Dy no, my name is Dynasty. But okay. That's so you ready to get married? Time. Again? I said you're ready to get married. You've been married before? No. Okay. But why soon means you're manifesting you want to get married, right? Right. Girl, okay. I belong with somebody. <laughs> well, girl, you had three men to choose from. <sighs> I know, Kendra. And you sure you can't work it out with none of the three? Um, nah, don't get me wrong. My my first baby daddy, he would love to be with me today. It's just I don't want to be with him. And and then my second baby daddy, he hadn't seen my son since he was one years old. We have no contact. And then it was the third one. And the third one is just, it's not it. It's not it. It's too questionable. Too questionable. Yeah, like when I have to question myself too many times about everything, it's just, girl, it's, it's, it's exhausting. Very exhausting. So, okay. yeah, I don't want to sit here and be worried of questioning everything with the next man. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Well, there we have it. Um, now, we'll, we'll move on for that. All right, Dynasty, set up the profile. You have an iPhone or an Android phone? I got an iPhone. Okay, go to the App Store and type in Kendra G Singles and make your name Dynasty Wife soon. They can find you fast that way. Okay. Okay, bye, honey. All right, see y'all. <laughs> bye, baby. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.